Let me keep it real with you. Not everyone's gonna like the answer I am going to give to this question. So a lot of people go into business for themselves. They wanna have more free time. They, they don't wanna have a nine to five. They have other responsibilities and other passions as well. And a question I often get asked by people as they go into business for themselves is, James, how do I manage the whole life work balance? How do I have time for myself, for my family, for my children, for my church responsibilities? How do I get it all done? How, how can I have a life work balance? And you're not gonna like my answer, but you may appreciate my honesty and my insight. There's no such thing as life work balance. You're gonna be imbalanced. Let's get into this. I decided I would try to address the thorny issue of work life balance. The idea of life work balance is a myth. You're not gonna be in equilibrium. You're gonna be imbalanced. When you're starting to grow a business, you need to spend a lot of time in that business because you are trying to get new clients, trying to get new customers, trying to get the word out there. So top of your mind is not just doing the business that you're in. You're in marketing. You are in sales. You are in customer follow-up. You are looking perhaps at new avenues. It's dynamic. If you're a plumber, you may be the plumbing company that people call for that 3 a.m. on a Sunday morning flood. You may be going uh, building from you know residential to commercial and then those are going to be long big projects with a lot of overhead a lot of staffing issues people call in sick or would have whatever the case may be and there's a fallacy that i see on many of these ads on youtube or whatever i really hope to see you on the i will see you on the inside and when you click this registration link you'll see it's an introductory training class you're going to make all this money and have all this free time. They sell you the dream. You're sitting there, you know, uh, drinking a, uh, a pina colada on the beach while the money is rolling in. Well, the reality is that it takes a lot of time and hard work and effort and hours to build a business. And those hours have to come from somewhere because we all have just 24 hours in a day. Now, I'm not going to talk about at this point how you leverage yourself you know, how you grow a business, how you use technology. We'll get into that perhaps in some other business, but I just, in some other video, but I just, I just want to prepare your mind for the fact that there is going to be some imbalance, but here are some things you can do to mitigate and to help with that. First of all is be conscientious, be conscientious, meaning that when you're at work, when you're working in your business, be at work, working in your business. And then when you're on your personal time, when you're with your family, when you're at church, when you're with your child's soccer team or baseball team, be there. When you're at the school play, be there. When you're there for their ballet recital, be there. Don't be working. Steph, Steph. Hi, Stephanie. Yes. Hi. Woo! Stephanie! Nice job, Steph. Stephanie! Left, left, left you at that. Now, in this day and age, a lot of people are working from home. I, I'm truly blessed I've been working from home, uh, you know, off and on since 2001, 2001, 2002, when I f started my first business and I was growing that business with a telephone and a computer from home and also doing some traveling. Now, in the beginning, you may or may not have a home office. When I first started, I had a little, uh, we had a two bedroom condo in West Covina, California, and one was a nursery for our two children. We had a baby and a toddler, and the other one was our master bedroom, and I had a little corner of the master bedroom with my computer desk and my phone to run that business, and it was an imbalance for my wife, and there were some times I'm like, honey, I need the bedroom. You can go in the living room and watch TV or be with the kids or take a nap on, on the couch or the case may be. There's going to be some imbalance, and that's okay. But I said, honey, I know I'm home, but I'm not really home. Pretend I'm at the office. Pretend I'm at school. If you're a school teacher, pretend I'm at X place where generally people go to work or do business and I'm not here. But then when you leave that space, be present. When you're playing with your children, be pleasant and be present 
and leave all of the work behind. Now, you're going to have to set some boundaries with your loved ones. And this is where leadership comes in. This is where you have to be a leader. You're going to have to be able to say no to certain things and make some compromises. Look, I'm not going to be there for every soccer game, but I will be there for every school play, recital, etc. So you have to make some compromises and say, hey, look, I can't, you have to learn to say no, I can't be at everything, but I will be at X, Y, and Z. And then on your business side, make sure that your clients, your customers, your employees, your partners know, look, you have me Monday through Saturday, but Saturday, 7 p.m., this is going to happen and I have to be there. So you kind of just have to set boundaries and then be conscientious when you're, you have to compartmentalize. So when you're at work, be at work. When you're in the business, be in the business. When you're with your family, be with your family. That means turning your phone off, not checking messages, not checking emails, not checking voicemails, and just being present during that time. But you're also going to have to be flexible. And that is the name of the game. I, I made some notes here so I wouldn't forget and I wouldn't ramble. So uh, another thing that's important is using technology wisely, okay? So it's so funny how people are, back in the day, back in the day, let's say in the day of my mother, it was typewriters and word processors and computers, but not doing everything that we do now. But now you've got AI, you've got computers, you've got email, you've got texting, you've got messaging, You've got FaceTime, and somehow people are still too busy to do the to do things, even though they have all this technology. Why? Because you have to use technology wisely. Checking the status updates of all your friends and, and reading all the stories that they've put up on Insta, on whatever, take your pick, social media, is not a good use of the time. So use technology wisely. Use calendaring. Use reminders. Use alarms but you may want to take the social media off of your phone. You grab my phone, you're not going to see Facebook. You're not going to see even Facebook Messenger. You're going to see the bare apps. And look, if you can afford it and if it's within your budget, have a separate phone for personal and a separate phone for work and business. And when you're doing work and business, don't have distracting apps on there and have your personal phone away. Have your loved ones, your spouse, or those who need to get a hold of you, have that business line, but don't give it to your friends. Don't give it to anyone that can distract you. And it's the same thing with your emails and your social media. Have something separate separate for business and for personal. Keep them separate. Gotta keep them separated. But when you're building a business, you are going to be, you know, doing marketing, advertising, sales. You're going to be working in your business as you're growing it. And you're going to be all over the place. The life-work balance is, is, is impossible. It's, it's a pipe dream. But, but here's, here's something to remember. In this compartmentalizing and, you know, when you're, work, you're at work, when you're at play, you're at play, you have to give yourself time for self-care. You have to give yourself time for vacation or what have you. But... This is what, what I think is, is incredible, is people just starting a business are already gonna go, are already planning that vacation. Really? I've never even heard of the original vacation. Doesn't matter. The new vacation will stand on its own, okay? Really? No, in your mind, set in your mind, it's gonna be six months, it's gonna be running, it's gonna be a sprint. It's gonna be a marathon made up of a whole bunch of little sprints. The vacation and the reward is going to be down the road. Our, our parents, our grandparents, our great-grandparents knew delayed gratification. They knew they planted a seed. They weren't going to have a tree right away. They, know, they knew that to, uh, to reap, they had to sow, and that there was a gestation period. And in the beginning, you're going to have to do a lot of gardening, a lot of watering, a lot of hoeing, a lot of prepping, a lot of weeding, to get to the point of reaping what you sowed and then you'll be able to take a break and a vacation. So just embrace the fact that it's going to suck, that there's going to be a work-life imbalance in the very beginning. These are just the top thoughts off the top of my head and a couple notes I made so I wouldn't uh, 
rant and rave and make this uh, too long. And the other thing I wanted to um, talk about is to prioritize, to prioritize. So one of the things that's, that really adds to a, a, a work-life imbalance more than it is necessary because there will be a, a life-work imbalance is not doing first things first. So a lot of times you'll get in the business and you'll do all the, you, you have a list of priorities one through 10 and you start at 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 and then something throws you in a mix and you can't get to the things that are most important. And then maybe there is something personal that you want to do, but now you can't do it because you didn't do the priority first. Knock out the priorities first so that you could have and you can have a little flexibility. So maybe you can make that soccer game you didn't think you could because you got one through five done and six through 10 aren't priority and can maybe be done another day, giving you a little bit of flexibility. So anyway, those are some of the thoughts off the top of my head. I will probably make another video later that is more organized. But the bottom line here is that life work balance is not going to be a possibility when you're first building your business. Embrace it, but just prioritize, compartmentalize, be conscientious and be present. Prioritize and use technology wisely to your advantage.